Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. Backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2022, Def Havana headlining the Rock Sound stage this evening. Delighted to say that James and Matt join me now. How are you guys? Not bad. How are you? Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Yeah, good. Good thank you. Thanks for having us. Of course. Yeah. It's nice to be here, man. It's nice. We're saying this to everyone, really. What a lovely start after two years of weird festivals and, and lack thereof years, to finally be back. This is lovely. Mate, it's lovely. It's lo I mean, yeah, for us, because we literally did nothing for two years. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, of course. For yeah. us, it's great. Yeah, no, um, it's just, it's been really nice having a little wander around and seeing how busy, ev like, every single stage for everyone since, since midday, really. Yeah. So it's wicked. Uh, I think it's been missed by a lot of people, really. It really has. 100%. I mean, I mean, it's the fact as well. We were saying before, weren't we, when I think the Am got announced and stuff. Slam Dunk's been very good to you boys over the years as well. A lot of nice memories. So I feel like Definitely, this man. for the starting of the festival season can't do any better, really, can you? I know, 100%. Like, it's always just so many mates. And so, yeah, like you said, it's been very good to us over the years. And I can't wait to play, to be honest. Yeah. Just, like, it feels fresh again for us because we, we've only played two shows since 2019. Yeah. So, <laughs> take what we can get, to be honest. Well, and, and one of those was, lest we not forget, at the Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> so that must have experienced. Tell me about that on the Broco show. That must have been an absolute experience it man, in that venue. It was pretty weird. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, I, I always feel odd in those sorts of venues because it's just so nice. I always feel like, well, I'm clearly not meant to be here. <laughs> well, like, what's going on? But um, it was great. I mean, it was great to see the Don Broco guys again and uh, really nice of them to ask us to get involved like with an, an amazing week of shows really um, for Teenage Cancer Trust uh, yeah it was wicked it was a very odd one to have second gig back actually yeah yeah it worked very well it must be nice as well putting together this new live show for you guys as well because obviously we've heard a few of the new tunes now albums kind of on the way announced and everything feels like a new era and stuff how has it been actually putting together a new live show for Death of Anna like this uh, it's been interesting because obviously we are only two now. That's the thing. So we just into a, a new band we had here to as well. source some new musicians, but it's been good, man. Like, so we nabbed the the drummer we now have, a guy called Luke. We nabbed him off a band that we supported us like in 2019. Oh, wow. Our bass player now is Kyle, who used to be our guitar tech, but now he plays bass for us. So it's actually been it's been kind of easy, but it's just it's just fun. Like you said, it feels it feels fresh and it feels like I mean it is. It's completely new. It's completely different. It's like breathes new life into the songs. I think. Yeah, I mean, the new songs feel fresh as well. I've told you this before, boys. It's a really, really interesting album that you Thanks, guys man. put together. It's really exciting to see the fans finally getting to hear bits and pieces of it. And let's talk about, I guess, the latest taster they've had, which is on The Wire. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that track in particular, when that kind of came to be. Um, well, that was the first one that we, uh, after like having a couple songs separately um, for the record, that was the first one where James and I met up and like started writing stuff together. And James had like this a few chords and a few was humming a few melody lines and like I don't know, it just happened really, really easy. Sometimes you have to really work at making a song that you know will be great or like have you know it has something. Sometimes it takes a lot of work to get there. Whereas we basically got with a few things different and a few extra textures, we got to pretty much what it is now. Like in, in like three hours yeah. like so, something like that it, it was really natural and like it also that was the moment where I really felt like yeah yeah this is this is what I need to do like like making music like this um, yeah it, it properly reignited something in me I think man it's exciting and it's like in terms of the album as a whole as well when people get to hear it you know I hate I hate using words like anthemic but it feels apt do you know what I mean like you've really gone down that route in a really positive way I feel so tell me a little bit about what you hope the fans take away from it I suppose when they hear this for the record for the first time what do you hope that those those fans that have been with you for a long time hear when they hear this record now because it feels fresh like we keep saying I hope there's enough familiarity for them to like still like it for the reason they got into us I guess I, I think we still have enough of that but I also I don't know like I, I, I want people to me and Matty wrote it as an album yeah. I, I would love people to listen to it in full not just tracks at the time because I think sure. like some of the songs on their own are okay but when you listen to them in the context of the album they they're they better do you know what I mean like yeah. uh, we, we definitely like craft not crafted it that sounds pretentious but like <laughs> we, we made it in a way that it, it, it sort of like moves enough so it's it, it's meant to be listened to as a whole nice I but I don't know what, what do you do? yeah no definitely I, I just hope people trust us enough to like let us take them where, where the record goes really um, and, and I mean, I'm just so happy that it's 
coming out, to be honest, like, it's, it's pretty mad. It looked for a long time like we'd never be in this situation again. So, like, I'm just really, really excited for people to hear. And, yeah, just, like, see what people think, I guess, of um, some of the bit more out there moments, things like that. I guess why moments like this are going to be so celebratory as well, because, you know, you've been very frank with us all in the past. You know, you didn't think necessarily that this would be a band that's still going at this point. They are. It's been a very, very positive reception you too, and now you're going to go out and smash it on a big stage. It's a lovely feeling. hope so. Seems like you're in a good place at the minute, guys. It's lovely. lovely. It's, it's cool, man. Like, it's, I think we're, we're definitely personally both in different places now, which is a lot better. So, well, I think so anyway. But also... Always helps. Yeah, it does help. <laughs> but it just feels, I don't know, like, it just feels fresh enough to give us energy so that we can I don't know I just feel like we got a, another chance to, to try and do it like, I, don't, I don't know how much longer we can do this for but I feel like we need to really take advantage of the opportunities that we're given right now and Absolutely. be positive instead of negative as fuck like we have been in the past yeah. we're both guilty of it like so so many opportunities have presented themselves to us in the past and we have just just been negative about it and I think I want to try and be a little bit more positive if I can without sounding cheesy. No, I think we've all felt that a bit after the last couple of years in every 100%. single way, right? Everyone wants to be a bit more positive now. And hey, what a great way to start then at festival season once again. It's nice to see you boys back here, man. Thank we'll you. see you on the tour later this year. Quite and uh, I'm sure we'll talk to you around the album and stuff as well. But Absolutely. in the meantime, enjoy today, boys. It's going to be Thank a fun one. Thank you very one. much. Mate. Good to see you, Thank all right? Thank you very much. Death everybody. You.